All right, so in this video, we're going to look at creating some band indices from, uh, from a multispectral image. There's actually multiple ways you can go about doing this in ARC, so we're going to look at a couple different options. All right, so we're going to start off with some of the simpler options, and that's just to use some of the built-in tools. So um, I'm going to work from this Zurich clip image, just because it's smaller, so things will process quicker, um, as opposed to the original scene. Okay, so to calculate some indices, if you have if you're clicked on the image of interest in the contents, then if you go to the analysis tab, there should be options. Oh, I'm sorry, that's under sorry imagery tab. Then you should be able to use some indices. Okay, so if you do this drop down here, you can see there's a bunch of different Im indices here. There's some vegetation, soil indices, water and snow geologic and then just kind of landscape scale things like build up areas burn ratios so this is not an exhaustive list but so these are some of the more common ratios that we use okay so to start off with let's just do a simple NDVI okay so this pulls up this window you have to tell which of your bands is your um, near infrared which in this case it's band 7 and which one is your red, which in this case is three. Okay, so do okay. And there we go. So we have out an image. We can see the range there is 0.8 down to negative 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So the theoretical like possible range is one to negative one. So again, this does a, a good job of highlighting uh, vegetation as, you know, photosynthetically active, green, healthy. So areas that are not vegetated, like water, build up, developed areas, tend to be spectrally dark or, or dark in this ratio. And then these brighter areas are your forest, right? And also like these agricultural fields and these dark agricultural fields are where it's bare soil. Right? So that's a very easy way to do an NDVI. Let's look at a couple other examples. You know, if I go back up here now to index indices, you can see that it's not highlighted, and that's because now I'm clicked on the Zurich image, the NDVI image, which is only one band, so you really can't calculate an index from it. So um, I'm going to go down to make sure I go back to my clip, and then this should have get highlighted again. Okay, so let's just make a few others. Um, let's look at this water index. So it uses the green and the short wave. So we're gonna give it the green, which is two, and one of the short waves, we use, use 10, and hit okay. And that spits back this index. So areas that are vegetated, or sorry, water, like these large like glacial lakes, and you can see the river channels there those show up as bright and then you know um bare surfaces and things those show up as and and the de uh, bare developed areas are dark and then our kind of vegetation is kind of moderate because it's picking up that signature there from the moisture and the vegetation okay um let's go back into our clip and we'll just do one more let's do this in dbi which is normalized difference buildup index so this wants the infrared, which in this case is four, oh, sorry, seven. And the near infrared, or, oh, sorry, I did backwards, shortwave infrared is 10. And then the near infrared in this case is seven. And then we'll hit okay there. And that should give us back an index that kind of highlights the build up areas. So you can kind of see here in the city, it's really bright. Um, Area, but it doesn't. It's not just build up though. If you really look at it, so for example, some of these uh, like bare soil agricultural fields are also showing up bright. Okay, so that's one option. Um, another option is you can grab these tools from the raster functions list. So I'm just going to turn these off. So if we go to analysis, oh, I'd really click on my image. If we go to analysis, um, raster functions. Then it pulls up this list of raster functions, which was already up. 
and we can run tools from there. So what these how these tools are unique is that they're actually saving the output as virtual data, like in RAM, as opposed to writing it to disk. So they actually run pretty uh, fast, so you're basically generating virtual rasters by applying functions to them. So I'm going to run this NDVI colorized option. So basically you give it a raster, so we'll give it our, um, let's just do the whole image this time. And then the visible band, it's actually wanting the red, and then the infrared is the infrared, seven. And then you can change the color mapping and the and the stretch or color colors used. So that's that'll work. So we we'll hit create new layer now, and that creates this virtual raster in RAM. And it applies a colorization to it with this like green to red type ramp. You can see the mapping over there. Okay, so those are two options. Now let's look at our final option. And that, let's say you have a ratio you want to c calculate that is isn't built in. So you have to do it from scratch. The easiest way to do that is with raster calculator. So I'm going to go to analysis, tools. We'll look for raster calculator. And you can grab from image or spatial analyst. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to grab it there. And then we can build syntax um, to build a, a uh, to build a uh, um, ratio. Okay, so to do that, let's just build kind of the structure first. So we're having a numerator and a denominator, and we we want to do is I'm just going to grab I, I bought in the bands, so I'm just going to use them here. So we want to take our near infrared and subtract from it the red. And then we want to divide by the sum, so near infrared plus red. And one other thing I've found with this is sometimes it won't work correctly if you read an integer data and the output is going to be float. Um, so I'm going to just wrap each of these grids in a, in a float function. This may not be necessary, but I found that sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. So I'm just wrapping each of these in, in a float, which is a function that converts the integer of data to float. Okay, so let's look at this and make sure it makes sense. So float of near R minus float of red divided by float of, of near R plus float of red. That looks OK. So let's try to run it and see. I'm going to save it to disk. So we're going to do, I ran this a few other times, so I'm just going to put a 3 on the end. And it doesn't say, it doesn't give us an error, which generally means that there's no syntax error, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will run correctly. Okay, so let's run that. So this calculation is actually going to be um, completed for, um, like for the entire image because I fed in the original bands. And then also it's going to um, write to disk. So generally these are going to take a little bit longer than if you're running like one of the, the raster functions, which does everything in memory, or you're running over a smaller like extent. Okay, so I cut there just so we didn't have to wait for it to run, but now we can see we got our output that's roughly from almost one down to negative one for the full image there. So that's an NDVI calculated with raster calculator. Okay, so these are a couple different options or examples of how you can do raster calculations um, and in, create indices in ArcGIS Pro.